Good morning. Good morning. All right, that's in Chicago, we go twice as hard. Good morning. Good morning. I do one thing when you can do two. Why ever just do one thing when you can do two? You bring two things together, or two people together, or two conversations, or two subjects, and then what jangles between those two parts is amazing. It never, never ceases to amaze. You're gonna get a white and a black square of paper, the edges of your frame, Think about the matching up with the edges of the square. What you see in here, you're going to draw on here. Um, as I said, if you want to hold your frame so you're seeing blue sky with a tiny wisp of a cloud, great, that's wonderful. Go on and make that drawing right in here. What's drawing worthy? Well, apparently anything. I mean, anything, right? What is what is worth my attention? If you see it through your frame and it, and it captures um, your imagination, that's that's great. Today, my mind was pretty much blown away. I realized that there's so much yet to learn about teaching. I've been doing it for seven years, and my eyes are just getting open more and more with each of these activities. I want to show you some of the applications and process of work that, that we've done in Chicago doing arts integration. And then I want to end with and leave enough time, I want to show you one of my favorite conversation and, and planning tools to get for arts integration, a very simple one. So it's twofold for me today, I think. I come, one, to learn strategies that I can share with our staff and our teachers in professional development, and then hopefully they'll use them in the classroom, but also to hear what they're hearing so that I can support what they're trying in the classroom, and they feel like it's a safe environment if they try something and it goes great, or if they try something and it doesn't work how they planned, they know that I've been here and I know what it is they're trying to do and it's okay to do that even if it doesn't work exactly the way they planned initially. So it takes away some of that fear factor of trying new things and veering off of the, the norm and doing something a little different. What's exciting for me as a community educator is that the whole moonshot moment is using innovative learning strategies to address real community challenges. So when some of those learning strategies have to do with the arts, about using arts integration to connect with language arts and with mathematics and with science and with social studies. That's really what the museum does uh, in museum education. So it's very exciting for the museum to be a resource, a community resource, for those kinds of innovative learning strategies that can really impact the classroom and the kids whom we're all trying to serve.